Of all genres, horror movies tend to have the worst track record when it comes to Rotten Tomato scores. That's why you need to check out the one that has a perfect critic score of 100%. It seems that Hollywood has finally realized that horror is a reliably bankable genre at the box office. Whether it be a slasher to end all slashers like Terrifier 2, or an elevated horror hit like Talk To Me, the masses in general are swarming theaters right alongside diehard horror aficionados in search of the next big scare. Meanwhile, streaming platforms have been in on this trend for a good minute, with many of them opting to produce their own exclusive horror films in addition to their other original entries. His House, a Netflix original from 2020 that you may have missed, is a perfect example of why you need to give more of these horror flicks a chance. Unfortunately, it's no longer on UK Netflix due to the typically opaque licensing issues that often arise, but that should provide even more reason to check it out on Netflix US before it too suffers the same fate. The movie follows Bol and Rial, a couple who lose their daughter during their nerve-wracking escape from war-ravaged South Sudan. Once settled in the outskirts of London, the pair are forced to confront the harrowing reality of their journey as they try to adjust to life in the UK. Living in a home provided by local authorities, they soon realize they aren't alone in their new house. The couple struggles with their new reality as they become increasingly haunted by their past, in time discovering they aren't quite as free of their history as they thought. How quickly you forget our daughter. What starts out feeling like a socio-political drama quickly evolves to encompass horror elements that are every bit as terrifying as the most celebrated examples of the genre. But what sets this film apart from anything else is how it all holds together when the horror ramps up. From the moment the film opens, you feel as though you're witnessing something that actually happened. Bol and Rial's escape is terrifying, the loss of their daughter is heart-wrenching, the system they're forced to rely on and obey once they arrive in the UK leaves much to be desired, and beyond all of that, even the supernatural elements that slowly seep into the narrative seem authentic. There's a great beast in this house. It followed us here. Not only can you imagine what it must feel like to try and live a normal life in the dilapidated house they're assigned by the British government, but you also can't help but feel like you're walking right alongside Bull as he inches towards a menacing apparition that's muttering to itself and stabbing the floor with a knife. Having said all of that, it's not out of line to wonder how this movie might have fared had it not employed a supernatural angle and instead just focused on the all-too-real horrors of being a refugee in today's world. Would it have failed to make as much of an impact with viewers? Serious films about sensitive, important subject matter sometimes fall just as flat as some of your run-of-the-mill horror movies that offer nothing but gratuitous violence and cheap jump scares, so it's possible that it might have ended up as one of those random flicks that await you at the end of a very long and dissatisfying scroll through your favorite streaming platform. In the end, it's all about execution, and the filmmakers behind his house were aware of that every step of the way. Somehow, they were able to use cheesy horror tropes to lend an incredible amount of credibility to real-world psychological trauma, a feat that so many horror directors could only dream of achieving. Ultimately, we think the novelty of such an accomplishment is what helped this movie transcend mediocrity and earn that super-rare 100% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. As we mentioned before, it's still streaming on Netflix in the US, but we can't say for sure for how much longer. We suggest microwaving a big bag of popcorn, turning off the lights, and enjoying this one while you still have a chance.